Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to see how to YOLO Wi-Fi object detection offline means without internet. Okay. So before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends thank you so much and let's get started. So friends as I mentioned how to run YOLO Wi-Fi object detection on Windows machine without internet or we can say offline okay so for that first you need to install tony python id then yolo wifi then you open cv on windows machine okay i have already created the video how to install tony open cv and yolo wifi on windows machine i will mention video link watch video and install all these things okay so for that first what we want to do we want to create a new folder okay so i am going to create here a new folder inside download so just open file explorer and then downloads you can create folder anywhere okay so inside downloads i'm going to create a new folder so right click and new and let's say yolo so this is what our folder okay so inside this folder we are going to create our yolo if i object detection script okay so just close file explorer and we are going to open our tony python id so let's just open tony python id and we are going to create our file or python script file so just click on save and the folder which we create inside downloads and yolo okay so here we are going to create test.py okay so now what we are going to do we are going to simply call our web camera for detection so i'm going to write a basic code okay so let me write the basic code so friends as you can see this is what our basic code okay which will start our web camera so now as i mentioned first what we want to do we only want our yolo wi s.pt model because when we install yolo wi on windows 11 there is no by default model so we need to download their model so for that what we are going to do we are going to visit their website pytalk.org and this is the link as you can see model talk.hub.load this link basically download our by default model from website okay or we can say from web okay once we have the model then we don't want internet connection okay so just copy the link from their website open tony python id and then just paste the link over here inside the inside our code okay so now save it and just run the code now it will download our yolo wifi s.pt by default model inside same folder which we just create okay so inside downloads i have created yolo folder and as you can see this tmp is basically downloading our yolo wifi s.pt model okay so currently it's downloading as you can see now it's changed with yolo wifi s dot uh, yolo wifi s dot pt this is what our model okay so we have now our model now from here we don't want internet connection okay so now i am going to remove as you can see i have connect the computer with uh, ethernet so i'm going to remove ethernet cable okay so friends as you can see i have removed the ethernet cable so there is no internet inside my desktop inside our windows 11 machine okay so now what we are going to do we are going to simply stop just our code okay and here what we are going to now we don't want this model code line okay so let's just comment it let's just comment just mention hash okay and here we are going to because we are going to use our local path okay we are going to use our local path so we need a new code line okay so i have create here a text document and inside that i have mentioned the line which basically run our yolo wifi without internet okay so this is the line just copy it and open tony python id and here i am going to paste the line okay i will mention this line inside my description box okay you need to simply copy and paste okay so uh, this is the path this path is, path is basically for raspberry pi okay so now here we need to mention our windows path okay so model is equal to top doc hub dot load and this is the path where we have yolo v5 folder so as i mentioned here this path is basically for raspberry pi so we need to mention our windows path 
for your UEFI folder. So what we are going to do, we are going to open our file explorer from here. Okay, and then go to the C C drive. 